Something that isn't getting enough attention is the difficulties that the student athletes across the country are going through, you know, trying to play through a pandemic. Being a part of two different programs during this pandemic, you know, at Providence last year, the end of our season, and then Binghamton this year, our entire season, has kind of given me a unique perspective and has made me realize even more of how hard this has been on student athletes, not just basketball, but every single sport. You know, this pandemic hit at the end of last basketball season last year and, and canceled every postseason tournament, and the biggest one being the NCAA tournament, you know, March Madness in basketball. Last year I played at Providence and, and we were primed for not only an opportunity to, to make the NCAA tournament, which was, you know, the biggest goal in, in my whole life and that's that's the reason why I went to Providence was to make the NCAA tournament. And we were there, you know, we qualified, we made it, but um it was taken away from us. And and not only would we have made it, we would have had, you know, a really good chance to, to advance and, and succeed in the tournament and, and go, you know, who knows how far. You know, my teammates and I worked our whole lives to be given an opportunity like that, and uh, you know, to work all season, all summer, fall, you know, every single day, you know, multiple times a day, to to achieve that goal, and then you do achieve it, and you make it, and then for it to be taken away because of COVID, you know, was something that that was really hard on me and all my teammates and everyone across the country. You know, like I said, that was our biggest dream. You know, the biggest basketball dream. You know, ever since kid, that that's the ultimate goal is, is trying to make the NCAA tournament. And um, like I said, we 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 did it, but you know, we we weren't given you know the chance to experience it, and, and that was really hard. So now, bring the heart of the pandemic into this season, you know, brings new and, and different challenges to to a new school being at Binghamton here. And the only way you have a chance to play, you know, a season right now is if you isolate and test frequently. We live in a bubble, my teammates and I, pretty much with no, no social interaction, you know, except for ourselves. You know, we don't see our friends, we don't see our families, we only see each other, you know, from September until March, the end of the season. So we go to practice, work out, do whatever we got to do at the facility, and then we go back to our rooms, and that's that's it, and we repeat that process every day, you know. That's our bubble. That's that. Those are the only things that we do, because we don't wanna, we don't wanna contract COVID. You know, we don't wanna get sick, obviously, but we don't wanna. If anyone on our team gets COVID, we get shut down for two weeks, and it's a uh, immediate quarantine. So we wanna avoid that, so we can play. You know, college basketball players this year are are testing three times a week, so we show up really early in the morning. You're not allowed to eat or drink before you take the test. So we wake up at, at six, you know, six in the morning, go go down, someone, you know, sticks a Q tip up our nose and if you have been tested before, you know how really uncomfortable that is and it's a feeling that, that I've never felt before. It feels like someone poking around in your brain, you know. And we do that three times a week, every week, just to hopefully have the opportunity to play. And uh even sometimes, you know, that doesn't work and, and we still have to be in quarantine you know we have we've been put in quarantine four different times you know whenever anyone gets a positive test that's an immediate quarantine and that creates a big responsibility and potential stressor a stressor among us to try and not let each other down so we really need to, to isolate and sacrifice you know all that that family time and that time spending with your friends or parties or anything like that like we can't do it we got to stay away just because we really want to play and then kind of to make you understand you know what it's like we have one freshman on our team he's the only one he's from texas so he's in a brand new place brand new people and in his first 90 days on campus in this new environment for him trying to fit in and get adjusted he spent 56 of those 90 days in quarantine, isolated in a, a tiny dorm room, completely by himself. He had, you could only eat at set times. His meals were delivered to him. He couldn't go anywhere. So 56 of those 90 days as a 18 year old freshman from Texas living in Binghamton, you know, all because he just wants to, to have a season. I, I think that's, that's really crazy. And that's really hard on him and, and everyone 
who's been put in a similar situation, you know, we still miss our, our friends and our families, you know, just like everyone else, just like every student on campus, but we don't get to go home on weekends if we're homesick or for the holidays, you know, for Thanksgiving, we sat, we ate together, we sat at tables of two, completely spread out. So our Thanksgiving dinner was one-on-one -on -one with the teammate, and then we went back home to isolate. You know, for Christmas, you know, we'll be here. We'll be in our dorm room, same thing. We can't go see our families, none of that. We gotta get ready to, to, to get tested the next day and hopefully play a couple days after. You know, we're not professionals. We don't get paid to do all this. We still live the same and act the same as every other 19, 20 year old student, you know, at Binghamton and in the country. But um, all of these sacrifices are, are something that, that deserve more attention and recognition. And it is something, it's really hard, but we do want to do it. We do embrace the, the opportunity of, we just really want to play. So we're going to do whatever we have to do. And I think all, all those sacrifices are something that are kind of going unnoticed. Thank you.